I'm comparing Maytag versus Kenmore refrigerators. What do you know about those brands? Maytag refrigerator bulbs have gotten so hot that it deforms the plastic in the shell. If it can get that hot, it will ruin the energy efficiency of the unit well before it warps the shell. If it is getting that warm, it could easily keep the fridge from getting cold enough to preserve your food. But you've implied it isn't a common problem. What else should I be worried about? Maytag freezers tend to have ice build up. It gets so bad it looks like a scene from the movie Frozen. Maybe I can get my kids to chip away the ice while singing Let It Go. Good luck with that. I got my oldest to do a fair job cleaning the pool by playing Finding Nemo, so it can't go completely wrong. What do you think of Kenmore refrigerators? Kenmore fridges in general are pretty reliable, depending on the maker. Their major problems are with the ice makers, which most fridges have. What do you mean, depending on the maker? Sears doesn't have its own appliance factories anymore. Kenmore outsources its manufacturing to Whirlpool, GE and Frigidaire. Whirlpool fridges have had reports of electrical fires. Frigidaire fridges have had the bulb light get so hot the fridge caught fire. You could research which serial numbers were made by either manufacturer. That you could pick out a Kenmore fridge made by GE. In that case, I might as well buy a GE fridge. Or buy a Maytag and know who made it. At least I know not to buy Korean. The LG fridges don't even last until their expiration, I mean warranty date. And the Samsung fridges are like GE ones, surprisingly bad given how good the manufacturer does with high-tech stuff, 